For generations, Americans have become accustomed to important quality artisan-made products. Violins and cellos are no different. It was not until the mid-19th century that these artisans from Europe began making these stringed instruments here in America using all of the traditional tools, woods, and knowledge of the masters. This wood, which I have here, it has been cut about 100 years ago. And, uh, and from this I will make eventually a beautiful violin. We now have master violin makers, such as Guy Raboot, Davis Siegel, Lucas Ronsky, to name a few of the local luthiers. Violins are now made here in America. Americans have become accustomed to important quality artisan-made products. Violins and cellos are no different. It was not until the mid-19th century that these artisans from Europe began making these stringed instruments here in America using all of the traditional tools, woods, and knowledge of the masters. This wood, which I have here, it has been cut about 100 years ago. And, uh, and from this I will make eventually a beautiful violin. We now have master violin makers such as Guy Raboot, Davis Siegel, Lucas Ronsky, to name a few of the local luthiers. Violins are now made here in America. <laughs> 